Wait a minute, Jerry. Just be cool, man. He just wants to talk to you, that's all. Yeah, I just want to find out what you're trying to fake out on us. I I'm not. I'm just going to have to teach him a lesson. I mean, what happens to uh, thinks and liars? Okay, Mickey, not so rough. Gary? Last night. Oh, you got any thoughts on that? Well, I think Jerry was about to break and somebody found out about it. Did he have any other friends that you know about? No, he was pretty much a loner. The only one he was even sort of close to was that chemistry teacher I told you about, Mark Ciprio. Where can I find him? Where did you get that information? Several people. As a matter of fact, they say he was not only pushing them, but he was using them. Smack, especially. Mr. Cibrio, I, uh, I won't take any more of your time now. Maybe we can talk again later. Yes, that's your convenience, sir. Thank you very much. I need a volunteer. Undercover work? Yeah. I'll do it. <laughs> Here's the guy that was uh, waiting for Mark Cibrio in the parking lot. Mickey Ross, who works for Jay Stemper. Don't take any unnecessary chances. I mean that, OK? Come on, let's go play coffee brothers. Hi. Boy, this is real slop. You sick? <laughs> no. That was a red. You, uh, looking to make a score? Yeah. But not grass. That's for kids. You know somebody? Acid? Speed? Maybe even some cocaine. <laughs> okay, look, don't hang me up, because I'm really hurting. Meet me outside the gymnasium after school. Well, you're the dealer. What have you got? Acid. Yeah, I could dig some acid. And how about some coke? I could dig some coke. <laughs> That's pretty heavy. Digging blood since when you start hanging out with the fuzz. A little chick you with. We went to the same school, man. So? So she went to the police academy after she got out. She's a cop, man. And why don't I just tell her to get lost? No, it's too late for that now. Now you do what I say. What are you going to do to her? I'm not going to do anything. I just want to talk to her. I want to find out how much she knows. There won't be any rough stuff, will there? Listen, yeah, so what's the matter with you? You think I'm crazy? Now, there's been no transaction. She can't prove a thing. Now, I just want some information, that's all. OK. All right. I know, I know. Come on, sit down. OK, sir, I'm not sitting. But I thought you said... I said beat it. Have you got the stuff? Oh, yeah, baby. Now, one of our policewomen was killed last night by some of your dope peddling friends, and we think you're involved. I work for him. Doing what? I was a chemist. That's a nice, honorable profession. It was when I was in college. I needed the money. No, man, we all need money. Yeah, but it was for my wife, Julie. She needed to be on a kidney machine most of the time. Yep, I'm going to make me a bust. I'm going over to Stemper's place. Without me, you're not. Check all the exits. Keep it all around this place. It's the only way out. Talk to some lights. The lights are on their way, sir. <laughs> Yeah, just like you killed that little girl. Hey, Sam? Sergeant Crowley, what's happening, buddy? Take that. I don't want to hurt nobody. Sam? It's me, Miss Jameson. My real name is Anderson. I'm a policewoman. Cop? What about Chase Stempler? Who, what about him? He's the one who's really responsible for that girl. Now, if you kill Mickey, we'll never nail him. Believe me, Sam. Trust us. So, simply just made bail. Yeah, a couple hours, you'll be back out on the street again. I don't know why we go to all the trouble. Because we're the good guys.